miss fabulousness. Um, yeah. You've gone through a, a, just a tiny, I would say a tiny bit of a transition. Yeah. Yeah. T tell us, first of all, what brought that on? What? Well, to be in full disclosure with you, I need to tell you what was the other life like. Yeah, sure. Because I didn't talk about my weight and what you're talking about is me losing almost 100 pounds. Yeah, wow. Um, I, I was over 200 pounds for the last 20 years. I said I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> I ain't going to cry. Um, I got you if you do. Yeah. Okay. I built my entire career, my life. I raised my son over 200 pounds, which is really hard because I was a state champion athlete in high school. I, I ran 110 and 330 lower hurdles. I, I was the state champion in the 330 lower hurdles. I held the 330 lower hurdle record at my high school for 18 years. Wow. And I can only say that now because I'm coming full circle about my health. For so many years, I was too ashamed to even tell someone that I, people knew I was an athlete. They didn't know to the degree. They didn't know that I was one of the, the top 50 girls in the, in the city of, the state of California, and that I was selected to work at the 84 Olympics wow. because of my athletic achievements. I didn't tell anyone any of that because I was obese. Like, who wants to tell that story when you're over 210 pounds? So everyone can think what happened. Right. Like I knew what they would think about. So I, so I had a, I had a bunch of medical challenges. I don't talk about this often. So it's one of the first places I've ever said this, especially being recorded. I am, um, I had a lot of medical challenges. I, I went through. I was going through um, private health hell while I was making chicken soup for the so touring the world, touring like the world, uh, the secret, all of that. Um, I had a medical condition that caused me to be on my cycle 28 days out of the month. Wow. I had six blood transfusions in three years. I would, I literally got off stage once from speaking for, uh, 45 minutes, delivering a keynote, inspiring everyone, signing autographs of chicken soup for the African American soul, taking pictures. And I got in my car and I drove myself to urgent care and I had a blood transfusion. Oh my gosh, Lisa. I laid in my bed for two days and got up and got on the plane and went and did it again somewhere else. And um, I don't know if you know, something is private and it's ugly and it's messy and it's just yours. And you just don't think you can get out of it. So you don't tell anybody about it because it sounds like it's complaining. Sure. You just rise above it and learn how to live with the chaos. And I feel like a lot of women too just don't talk about it. So like yeah, exactly. It's so much shame. Yeah. It's so much shame. So And you are a public figure, right? right? So you have to put out the face that right. everything's fine right. and great. It's and great. I'm a, and I'm the one to inspire you. Right. Not just a public figure, but <laughs> right. I'm the source of inspiration. So if you're bad, then life is, you know, so so I, I I and I'm not using that as an excuse. I took away my permission. So many times we take away our own permission to stop something that doesn't feel good. Yes. And I took away my permission. I justified it. I made, I rationalized why I couldn't. And whatever you say to be true for you is true for you. That's right. So when I said I couldn't talk about it, it became my truth. And so, so I'm, I'm overweight. I'm over 210 pounds. I'm, I, 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 I do all, I have sleep apnea. Um, Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Did that, did you ever feel like that, I mean, obviously it didn't stop you from going out there and building an incredibly successful business, but were you ever worried about putting yourself out there being that weight? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Because again, I hear that <clears throat> so much. Like, oh my I God. Yes. It's very real. It's very I, real. I'm not this size or real. I don't look this way. It's very real. I didn't speak for five years because of my weight. Really? I didn't speak for five years because of my weight, solely because of my weight. And um, I, I, I tried the diets. I did every single diet and I was like, oh God, and this burning was in my belly. I felt like I was dying at night because I wouldn't speak during the day. And so I said, well, I'm just going to stick my toe in it and do a, do a little bit of speak. I'm not going to really launch myself <laughs> until after I've lost 60 pounds. Right. And I stuck my toe in it and just swoop, it just took me into a vortex. And that's exactly what you should be doing, right? Because right? it's yeah. exactly, you know, when you, when you say a little yes and the world screams back, yes! <laughs> or when you say yes <laughs> and the world says, hell yes! <laughs> then you gotta, like, don't keep making excuses on yes. that. Like, 
Don't like, keep making, making excuses. excuses. Even sexy excuses. And you got to know that my excuses are sexy. They got crystals on them. Because I'm a <laughs> linguistic specialist. So if I want to sell some mess, I want to, you know, talk some BS, it's going to sound good. Super sexy. Super sexy <laughs> excuses. And so I, I, my excuses were, were, my excuses were great, but the calling was greater. And the, I couldn't sleep at night, girl. Like I, I say, I tell you, I started speaking so I can get a good night's sleep. <laughs> so whatever that thing is calling you, answer the phone, even if you don't have everything in order. Because I tell people, if I waited till I lost the weight to start speaking, Lisa Nichols would be the secret. Right. You know, not in the secret, but Do I would be the secret. Do we hear this, everyone who's waiting? Yeah, I waiting, would be. Stop waiting. Just, like, get this. I, I just released the weight. Yep. So seven bestsellers in, yeah. You know all the international multi-million dollar company, business, yeah, New York all of Times it. Bestseller. I did it all, big girl, cute big girl. I would like girl. to say, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I did it all, saying, hold on, let me do this while I figure out how to get it right. Oh. While I figure out, let me be in motion. While all that waiting, I felt like when you wait, it's like you're. I'm gonna wait for this. I'm gonna wait for the kids to, to get out of school. I'm gonna yeah. wait. Come on, do it with me. I'm gonna come wait. On, come on. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait for my husband to support me. I'm gonna wait That's for my. Right. It's like you're about to jump in a double dutch. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Not hold on. Hold on. Hang keep on. turning. Hold on. Keep, and the world is going. Hurry up. My arms are getting tired. tired. <laughs> right. And so I just jumped in, and and I'm doing a jump while I'm figuring out how to lose the weight. I'm figuring out how to not have sleep apnea while well, I'm figuring out. So Gosh, blood I blood transfusions, I'm blood transfusion, this. hysterectomy, sleep apnea, like just like a medley of things all like literally I would get off stage and go to the hospital and get a, a something, whether it was a hysterectomy. I literally had a hysterectomy and told the doctor, I got, this is me. So look doc, I need to be better in eight days because I got a keynote. <laughs> the doctor looked at me and said, well, let's just see about yeah, that. Let's just, see. <laughs> let's just see about that. You know, but I did it. The point is I did it while I was building my life. I didn't wait. Yep. You know, and that message is so man, man, invaluable man, to man. everyone. Now, did I have to do things to support that? So did I have to travel with two people during those times? Right. Did I have to lay down between events? Sure. So I had to manage it, but I didn't wait until it was done. And so um, I made the ultimate decision. Um, because my doctor said that uh, I had severe sleep apnea, I had high blood pressure, and I was no longer uh, obese. I was now morbidly obese. It's always lovely to be called. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Like to show my BMI and that it was in danger zone. So then my doctor said it's not a matter of if you will have a heart attack, Lisa. It's a matter of when will you have a heart attack. That's scary. She said, will you be at the hospital? Will you be on stage? Will you be in the airport? Will you be in the hotel room by yourself? And I was like, what? What yeah. are you talking about? And so she put a visual in front of me. And she said, I, at this rate, you will not see your, your son's children grow up. And I went, Rrr. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes you need that shock wave. Sure. So I was radical, you know, I got medical help. I needed, I couldn't do it by myself. My, my, um, my um, hormones was out of whack. My all of my, everything was out of whack. It was, you know, my energy level was flat. My, that thing that gives you, I burned out my thyroid. My thyroids mm -hmm. were burned out. All of, it was just all done. It was toast. So I needed medical help. So I went and got medical help. So evict your ego or your she go. And if you need help, Ask go for get it. help. That's right. Go get help. And so I went to doctors. I got recommendations and then I did what the doctors recommended that I do. And what do you do now to keep it going? Like how, how has your routine changed? Or I live a it. very, very active life. I live an active life. I choose my active friends. So let your couch potato friends be the ones you text with. Pick your active friends. So I, I literally, I pick my active friends to stay active with. Um, I, I went to the doctor, I got on the treadmill, I had them do my heart to make sure my heart was strong. Do I need to do anything? Where should I be? The doctor said you should be at three to five days activity, 60 to, uh, 30 to 60 minutes of exercise. Your heart rate should be here. Like I never knew the numbers before. Right. Like, so I found out what does an active life, I don't even want an active life, I want an athletic life. Look, I'm catching back I was just gonna here. say, I was just gonna say, is the Listen, athlete back? Hashtag chasing Michelle Obama arms. Um, hello, hello. <laughs> hashtag, I'm, I'm trying to find that curve. I haven't found it yet. I'm trying oh, to find it. 
there. I see the little uh, tricep. It's a lump. I it's see a baby it. bump. I see it's it. a baby bump today. But at one point, the next time you see me, that's gonna be a deep cut. What is that called? The tri. What's that? Tricep. The tricep. Mm -hmm. Tricep. For the hashtag. We got we got the tricep. camera crew helping right. up here. We have muscles because they got it, so. triceps. <laughs> they got triceps. Like hashtag work it out. And so now I'm just making it a game. Yeah. How fit can I get? How active can I get? How fun can it be? So I took my son for his birthday. He turned 22, and we always do something active. We went to the trampoline zone. And man, I don't know if he had fun, but his mama had a blast. <laughs> he had a good time. And so now I just, I live an active life. I needed help to jumpstart me to this. Mm -hmm. And now I'm living inside of it. And so I'm discovering, I do like, I'm, I'm single and I'm dating. <laughs> That's a whole nother interview. That's a whole nother interview. <laughs> and so, you know, I go out on dates. And so I do, I only do active dates during the day. Hmm. First of all, it just helps everything stay simple and right, easy. Right, sure. And so I do hiking dates, um, I do bowling dates, I do go-kart riding dates, I do snowmobile dates in the winter. Like when someone says, oh, I'd love to take you out, great, here's what I love to do. And I give them a list. They're like, whoa, so if that turns you off, I ain't the one for right. you. Right, we are not a fit. Right, we're not a fit, because this is what I love to do. Yeah. And I put things on the list that I've never done before. So we often talk about things we love to do as things we've already done. I make my list of things I would love to do. So parasailing okay. and skydiving. So for people who want to like join. Surfing. The, surfing. I, surfing. I went on a surfing date. Did I, you really? Oh, I ate more water, but it was fun. <laughs> I went to paddle boarding. Actually, yes. we could actually probably go paddle boarding. Right now. In the, in the street right yes. now. <laughs> so I put things like that. Gondola riding, paddle Love boarding. That. Yeah, I do. All, I put all on a list and go, pick this list. This is what I want to do. So Don't you, take me out to dinner. You I actually missing have a, meal. a new program for people. or yes. for. So tell us really quickly about that. Okay, Fit, Fine, and Fab. Fit, fit Fine, and, and fab. fab. So it's 360 wellness. So it's not just about being physically amazing, though that's in it. It's about 360 wellness. So fit is being financially fit, right? So it's, it's bringing your lunch. Not big stuff or big stuff. Bringing your lunch, cutting down on the amount of times you buy Starbucks, and then taking that money, and don't just let it disappear, but taking that money and driving it toward debt. So if you can save any money, I don't care if it's $20, $30 a week. We can all save a lot drive more than it we toward, yeah, Drive we it toward debt. Yeah. What does it look like to be not only debt free, then drive your savings up. What does it look like to literally begin to grow your wealth? So that's financially fit in the fit. And then fine, is internal wellness with all the people that we've seen dropping dead. So sad. Looking healthy. Make sure everything is fine. So I've gotten more tests in the last 60 days than I've gotten in the last 12 months. And so inside of this program, fit, fine. Fine is making sure I'm internally fine. Get your eyes checked. Get your blood pressure checked. Get everything checked. Get your thyroid checked. Get your cholesterol right. checked. Just get checked so the doctor. Because you don't know what you don't know. Let someone yeah. qualify tell you that you're fine. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you tell me that I'm fine. And then fab, fit, fine, and fab as well. That's external fabulosity. Hey, hey. It's all about stopping <laughs> traffic. I'm all for stopping traffic. And so fit, fine, and fab is a group experience of making sure that we're all playing full out together. I thought I'd get 2,000 people to play with me and within 16 days we had 7,000 126 people signed up. I think you're up. on to something. Yeah, I think yeah. we're on to I something. I think you're on to so something. So it's closed for a couple of months so we can manage the people that are in there and then we're going to open it back up again and you'll see all this marketing around it going jump in. Super, super exciting. People, we've lost in the first 30 days, first 30 days, there was over 360 pounds released that was documented. We know that there's more. Um, uh, saved was over, it was over like $22,000 wow. across 7,000 people, yeah, yeah. right? And so it's like, what happens when you do it together as a tribe? What happens when you do anything together? Yeah, you it know, feels good. So much more fun. So if people want to get more Lisa Nichols in their life, how do they do it? <laughs> Well, well, download me. <laughs> um, so number one is go over to Lisa Nichols fan page because I showcase everything there. People always want to be on the friend page. The friend page was that was full 10 years ago, but the fan page is where I actually post first. So Lisa Nichols fan page. So go over there and like that so that you can be inside the information. But if you want to jump on as a student, because we know that our student relationship, I'm a student. I'm a student. I'm a student. Forever. Um, yes, and a friend, and a colleague, and yes. a partner. Yes. Um, go to motivatingthemasses.com. Motivatingthemasses.com. And I say start with the 28 days. 28 days. Um, I give it to you a week for free, and then it's 28 days, $28. You can't beat that with a baseball bat. Can't beat and that it's a with video a of bat. me 
every day coming up for five minutes, three to five minutes, giving you one more small thing to do every day. It's a small thing. So you create micro wins in your life. Love now it, you're going to see the big me, but love her. Uh, she's the, she's the, I love her. I embrace her. Um, I'm not doing those videos over cause they were really delicious and they right. were well done <laughs> and it makes it easy. So it puts something in your space to do small wins every single day to get to the macro wins. And thank you for asking that question. Yes, you are so welcome. Yeah. I, I want 28 days of Lisa Nichols and I know you do too. So again, mm -hmm. go to motivatingthemasses.com. And if you are inspired, please share this video because when please. you are inspired, you inspire others. Remember to keep dreaming it, living Absolutely. it, and being it. Absolutely. Until next time. And of course, we have to end with, what? keep it going. Hey, hey, ready? Ain't, Ain't no party, party like a Lisa Nichols party because the Lisa Nichols party don't stop. Woo, woo. Ain't, Ain't no party, party like a Lisa Nichols party because the Lisa Nichols party don't stop. Woo, woo. <laughs> I love you, honey. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs>